This section is the primary tooth section of the Tooth Atlas Hygiene version 6.0. We'll go to the menu bar and click on primary teeth and it opens up a page that's similar to the permanent tooth section and actually operates the same way. You'll notice we can roll over the teeth and find the tooth that we're interested in. You end up with the same types of viewing protocols. You have the rotations and slices where you've got photography, computer models, and x-rays, and you've got the slices, top slices being the mechanical grindings or millings, the bottom slices being the slices that are generated off of the CT models. We have the computer models. Again, we'll download one of these. They have the three models, the dentin, enamel, and they can be made opaque or transparent. So you can view these in any sort of type that you want. Also like the permanent teeth, you have a full screen version of this where you can click on this and view just the tooth model without the academic things around the side. So if you're in a lecture situation, this is a good way of viewing this. We'll go back to the other section. You'll notice there's less teeth here than there is in the permanent section. It's very difficult to get fully developed primary teeth as you might imagine. Morphology section is similar, also developed by Charles Goodacre. And again, this is drawings. These are quintessential average teeth. You can look at these and find out what these different structures are by clicking on them, doing the rollover thing, or just showing all of them and then going through and rolling over these. You can self-quiz yourself on this if you'd like. Comparison sections, very similar to the adult section. Uh, for instance, this is the maxillary primary molar occlusal view. It shows the difference between the first and second. In addition to this, we have a second comparisons page which compares the primary teeth to the permanent teeth. So for instance, in this view, you've got the primary first and second molar compared to the permanent first molar. And you can go over and click on different structures and how those differences are. Again, we have um, glossary entries in here and we also have the references of where this information came from. X-ray with the rollover so you can tell what these different structures are. Click on here to find what these structures are. And we have an x-ray database. Again, not nearly as many cases because it's more difficult to get. And there's, of course, there's no endodontic cases here. It gives you an idea of the clinical variation and also a quiz. Same ideas in the permanent teeth. It makes you used to taking national board type questions and it gives you something to focus your studies on and what areas that you need to look at. Close this down. We'll go back to the primary home page. There's another interesting feature to this, which is the eruption schedule. And what this is, and this will take a moment to load, the calcification of the whole arch, permanent and primary teeth, versus time. So it starts at birth and goes through adulthood. And because it's, there's a timeline with this, you can actually go in go through this <coughs> and figure out how old somebody is based on the mixture of their dentition. Here we are. So this is birth. We're going to go through and you can see how the teeth develop. Permanent teeth come in. There's resorption of the primary teeth. And as we go all the way through this, you end up with adulthood where you've got the permanent teeth only in place. So we can go back through this and see, look at the mixed dentition and look at the development of the mixed dentition. Now, to make this more interesting from a student standpoint, we put in an interesting model that we developed a few years ago, which is the head of a child mummy. This is a 2,000 year old mummy. And what we're going to do is look at the cartonnage, which is this sort of paper mache covering that the mummy has over its face. And what we'll do is make that cartonnage transparent. 
and underneath it you see the skull of this child. So the exercise that you can do with a student is to look at this, select for instance the mandible, and go in and look at the mixed dentition. So this will give you the ability to look at, let's go back and make the permanent teeth a little bit more visible. Primary teeth should be visible. And we'll go and make the mandible slightly transparent. So you can see you've got mixed dentition here and from this mixture of dentition you ought to be able to judge reasonably accurately the age of this person. There's a section on dental embryology which is a PowerPoint style lecture presented in a PDF form and you can go through this and see these models. What's interesting about this is that some of the models that are here are actually three-dimensional histology models. So the view on the right-hand side is a traditional histology slide. The view on the left-hand side is actually a three-dimensional model created off of this histology. And this model is, you can click on it and it will show the various structures. And while it's doing that, you can take and rotate this around free will like the models in the other part of the atlas. So this is a very robust educational tool for looking at embryology. And it goes through here with traditional histology, with annotations, and um, it's a very, very useful tool for learning embryology. The last thing is a section on odontogenesis, also a lecture, and I will let you explore this on your own. So that's the primary tooth section. It has the primary teeth shown similarly to the way we do it with the permanent teeth, with the three models, etc. We have the eruption schedule to show growth and development. We have the child mummy just because it's fun and it gives you a little quiz to see if you know your growth and development. We have a section on dental embryology and another one on odontogenesis. <music>